What's up? What's up, world? It's your boy Ahmad in the building with Movement Up, where we build, we help, and we impact for the glory of God and for the good of those that we serve, man. Uh, man, wanted to share uh, just uh, some more about the journey that I'm on. Uh, I shared a little bit on a previous video about a new endeavor that I was in, in, embarking upon, uh, and it's a creative endeavor. Uh, some of you know, um, or have known me for uh, preaching, teaching, uh, speaking at school mentorship programs, uh, music production, as well as uh, releasing music, uh, Christian hip hop and inspirational hip hop. Um, some of you know me as a professional development trainer for school districts uh, and things of that nature. And so, uh, man, um, with all that doing, man, I, I would run into people time and time again who would say, man, brother, Ma, man, Pastor Ma, you should write a book, dog. You should write a book. And I just, you know, never felt God leading me to do that. Um, and I, I wanted a God idea about the book. I didn't just want to write a uh, autobiography or about whatever. You know, I really wanted to do something that God was leading me to do. And um, uh, about two to three months ago, man, God finally sent that idea, that God idea. Uh, not just a good idea, but a God idea um, uh, of this book to write, man. And so I reached out to a publishing team and met with them today. Uh, and that's where this point comes from that I think it'll be really important for some of you who are working on some some big visions, uh, some some uh, some huge tasks ahead of you that you feel like God is leading you to do, whether it be to start a business, whether it be to release some music, whether it be um, to uh, do some things in your family, in your community, in your church. I don't know what that thing is for you that that could feel uh, kind of daunting and, and like a huge task, but God has given you vision. And that's what this, this book is to me, is that vision of a task that I honestly uh, don't feel uh, fully equipped to do. Uh, and, and, and a little bit nervous, I'll be honest with you, man. And uh, today uh, I met with the publishing team on a Zoom call. And on that Zoom call, there were uh, six people uh, on that Zoom call, seven including myself. And so uh, the purpose of the Zoom call today was to give me an overview of the process of uh, getting a book done, the entire process. And man, I don't know if any of you have seen what it looks like when a street water hydrant gets busted open and water is just, you know what I'm saying, going out everywhere. But man, that's what it felt like today with the amount of information that they shared with me. Um, I am not familiar with the book writing process. I am familiar with the audio production process. I have produced, uh, recorded, mixed, and released, uh, and had it mastered and released music uh, through digital streaming platforms as well as hard copy discs back in the day when we was using those. And so I'm familiar with the, the releasing of music, but in terms of the, the production and the uh, putting together and releasing of a book, I am totally... Uh, ignorant of that process. Uh, and so, uh, man, today when they shared that information, um, I took a lot of notes and they're like, man, we're going to send you everything, you know, but man, it was, like I said, drinking uh, water from a street water hydrant that had been busted open and it wasn't stopping. And so, uh, man, uh, felt overwhelmed, uh, to be honest with you. But then in the, in the process, uh, God began to speak to me and said, I know you're looking at this mountain, but I need you to understand that the best way to take this mountain is to take it step by step step by step. And man, when I heard the spirit of the Lord speak that into my spirit, man, it calmed my nerves. It soothed my uh, little anxiousness about the situation. And man, um, I guess that's, that's the important thing, man, is to um, when you are feeling overwhelmed, especially if it's something that God has called and told you to do, first of all, we got to go to God. We got to say, Lord, you know what I'm saying? This looks too big for me. And not in a sense of like taking from me, but Lord, I'm coming to you because I need your strength. I need your direction. I need a divine strategy on how to approach this. And he's going to show you the step-by-step -step, uh, way to overcome, to climb this, this mountain of a vision that God has given you. Uh, and so, man, I just want to encourage you that um, even though you might be looking at a big task right now with starting that business, you might be looking at a big task with releasing some music, with um, uh, doing some work uh, that you're needing to do within your family, within your ministry um, or the community or your church that you're serving in. I don't know what mountain you're looking at right now, but uh, don't be overwhelmed by the mountain. 
Trust God to order your steps in such a way where you will be able to take the necessary process steps to, 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 to climb that mountain, to get to the top and to uh, see that vision, that dream, that thing that God has put into your heart manifested fully. You know what I'm saying? So, man, just, you know, take that to heart. I pray that it was a blessing to you. I pray that it encouraged you. I pray that it reminds you that if God has, has, has directed you to it, then he can direct you through it, man, step by step. Don't be over, you know, saying, cast your overwhelm and your care upon God. You know what I'm saying? You don't feel some type type of way sometimes. We're going to feel, we human, we're going to feel some type of way sometimes. But, you know what I'm saying? When we cast those cares upon God and help him to redirect our focus to the step-by-step -step process, then uh, his, he, his peace will overtake our anxiety. His peace will overtake our overwhelm. And, um, and, and, and we're going to be able to move forward and see that thing manifested, man. Pray this was a blessing to you. Uh, keep your head up. Keep praying. Keep pressing. And, uh, and trust God to order your steps. Peace.